Coming up to try out the Slick Rock bike trail for the first time was pretty scary. <laughs> it was kind of a moonscape. It's really on almost every mountain biker's bucket list. The town of Moab was probably like two streets long because it was not tourist oriented when we first started going. A fellow by the name of Dick Wilson came into my office and he said, I have a, an idea for a bike trail up out of Moab near the Sand Flats that I'd like to have you consider. The beauty of the place, for one, was its pulling attraction. It is a gorgeous place in the spring and the fall. It's just, just pure delight. The Slick Rock Bike Trail, just the landscape, it's so unique. There's lots of people that dedicate themselves to getting something to happen. And we wouldn't have it if it wasn't for Dick Wilson. And I really appreciate that. We like to come out to Slick Rock because of the legacy here and to reconnect with the people who have come here before us on the same exact equipment. It, it was a gathering place for all the mountain bikers that would come to Moab. You had to go to the Slick Rock Trail. It's just such a unique terrain, unique surface that, you know, it's like nothing else on Earth. The Slick Rock Bike Trail popularity just has continued through the years. And with this increase in visitation, we have continued challenges. If this were not taken care of, if there weren't stewards of this area, it would get torn up. This trail means so much to so many people over the last 50 years. There are so many locals that come up here every single day to go hike, bike, walk their dogs, just to go out and see the sunset up here at the Slick Rock Trail. It's an opportunity to get out and challenge yourself. It's just you and the bike and the wind in your face, and what more would you want?